Welcome to Iceland. I'm sharing our complete six day travel guide to road tripping all around the southern half of Iceland. We're heading up lots of waterfalls, glaciers, black sand beaches, national parks, a boat cruise to icebergs, and so much more. We just arrived here at six o'clock in the morning in Reykjavik and we got a car rental because we are a road trip in Iceland. We rented a Dacia Duster and they gave us a free upgrade to a brand new Kia Sportage. Really, really nice car. And um, we originally were gonna have a manual because my husband likes to drive manuals, but this is an automatic and it's a brand new vehicle. So because we got in at six this morning, um, we basically left home flew all night and just are starting our day right away without really any sleep. No sleep. <laughs> we were doing this. Movies all night. Yeah, we watched movies. And <laughs> it didn't even get dark. It was yeah, the there time. was no dark even. It was light the entire way here. So um, last time we did that was when we were heading to Germany. That was the last time where we got in early and it was like a full day. But we went and had breakfast at a little bakery right away this morning just to get some food in us and to kind of get us ready for the day. So we're fed. We went and bought some waters and we're ready for our road trip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. For our first full day in Iceland, we explored the entire Golden Circle, which can easily be done in one day. Our first stop was the Thingvellir National Park. And P.S. I can't speak Icelandic, so I'll be butchering all these Icelandic words. Just a heads up. This national park has some dramatic rocky landscapes, a lake, multiple waterfalls, with the most iconic waterfall being this one right here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. was our first Icelandic waterfall <laughs> and many more to go. Next stop on the Golden Circle was the geothermal area geyser. This has active geysers and boiling mud pits. It reminded us of Yellowstone National Park and it actually holds a geyser that is larger than Old Faithful. We got to watch the Stoker geyser erupt which happens every 8 to 10 minutes. <laughs> Less than 10 minutes down the road is our next waterfall stop, Golfoss Falls. This is one of Iceland's most iconic waterfalls and it's the largest waterfall in all of Europe by volume. The sheer volume of water plunging down into the narrow gorge has some serious wall factor. This is officially the biggest waterfall we have ever seen. It's huge! On our drive to our next stop, we found some Icelandic horses that were close to the road, so we had to stop and say hi. And little did we know, we would be seeing tons of these beautiful horses throughout our entire week in Iceland. We just saw the largest waterfall we've ever seen, and now we've seen the prettiest crater we've ever seen. Wow, this is gorgeous. <laughs> our last stop on the Golden Circle was the Caird Crater, and then it was time for dinner. Alright, our first full day here in Iceland. Um, we are super tired because oh, yeah. we flew all night, Sitting. started our adventures at 6 this morning. It is like 2. two. Um, we can't check into our hotel until about 4, so we're going to go get some food right now. Right, we just got to our hotel room here. Cute little Iceland hotel we're staying at. We have a walkout patio and then a really, really big... Um, bathroom in there with a huge walk-in shower. It's like three o'clock and we're like done for the day. <laughs> but we did everything we wanted to do today. So um, it was a beautiful day here in Iceland. Um, couldn't have asked for a nicer day. We were like, Blue skies, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, I wish I had shorts with. We didn't bring any shorts. That's, I hardly have hot. any t-shirts with. It was just so beautiful. <laughs> so recap on driving here. Oh my it's gosh. Easy. Oh, it's, it's so easy. Feels like you're driving really slow though. The speed limits are really low. <laughs> the speed limits are really, really slow. So yeah, we're like, uh, feel like turtles are <laughs> driving around here because yeah, everything's much slower paced here. But um, it's just like the U.S. driving, but slower paced and there's like no traffic. It's like easier almost than driving in the U.S. It's yeah, super it's easy really to get around. Back, so um, yeah, so car rental. That was good. Driving so far has been amazing. So um, no complaints. No. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for another full day here in Iceland.
Good morning. It is day two of our road trip here in Iceland. So we had an interesting night. Doesn't uh, get dark here. <laughs> doesn't get dark here. Oh. And we knew <laughs> like there'd be very limited nighttime because we looked at the sunset, sunrise hours, and it was like 11 p.m. to like 3, 3 a.m. But the sun sets. However, it doesn't Still get dark. <laughs> It is currently 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> this is what it looks like out here. <laughs> we ended up going to bed at like 6 o'clock last night because we were tired. We traveled all day and then we spent the whole day on the Golden Circle. And it's the night that went in. <laughs> yeah, it was the night that went in because it's well. like lightish in the room and they didn't have blackout curtains in the room. We just didn't even think of like having to bring like a mask with because we would have assumed it would have been kind of more blackout curtain style since of you know how it is here with the daylight Not um so <laughs> if you're going to Iceland in summertime bring like a eye mask with you <laughs> if you need to sleep with like blackness because yeah unless the hotel has blackout curtains it's it's light all night long <laughs> and that three when it rises it beams into the room yes the three three in the morning it's like <laughs> just bright as can be <laughs> so we can just say we slept nah, not the best mm -hmm. like okay <laughs> maybe tonight maybe tonight at this hotel we'll sleep better i don't know but we had breakfast this morning at our hotel um and Another thing we're finding, there's not really like coffee shops anywhere like that we're seeing on these roads. You go to the gas, gas station. Stations. We're at an Orkin gas station right now and we got a machine coffee because that's like a dollar <laughs> is here. <laughs> so it's okay. It's not a good yummy coffee, but we'll see. But the thing is what we're finding, if it is like a coffee shop, they don't open till 10 or 11 in the morning weird right but yeah that's just you know part of it you just kind of roll with whatever um they just start a little later here even like breakfast restaurants we were lucky yesterday when we had breakfast the restaurant opened at seven but it was right by the airport in that area so i think maybe that's why they open so early most restaurants don't open that early is what we're finding out so anyways we're off to see more waterfalls today and beaches yeah we're just kind of cruising around today so let's get started on day Today was the day where Iceland's landscape started to blow us away the closer we got to Vik. Our first stop was this famous and absolutely gorgeous waterfall, but be prepared to get wet and bring waterproof gear. You can hike all the way behind and around the waterfall, but you definitely will get very wet. Oh my goodness, I just got my morning shower. <laughs> it was soaked us. Bring your wing coats for that one. You can walk all the way around the waterfall and get completely soaked the entire way. Whew, it was so beautiful. If you keep going to the left, there will be more waterfalls along the trail. So many birds nesting up here in these mountains. They look like seagulls, yeah. but I think they are, but they're just going in and out all over these waterfalls with their nests. <laughs> And at the end of the trail, you can hike into a gorge. You're going to be walking on stepping stones through the river in order to get back into the gorge to see the beautiful waterfall. And get ready for a second soaking. It's very wet in the gorge. On our way to our next waterfall stop, we had to make a few pit steps to see more of the beautiful Icelandic horses. So about a month and a half ago, we were just in Scotland. And now the terrain is starting to change and we're kind of seeing like similar vibes of Scotland here in the background. Oh, and we found some more Icelandic horses. We had to stop and say hey. And because we're visiting at the end of May, beginning of June, we were surprised to see all the lupine in full bloom. There were fields of purple lupine everywhere. This next waterfall was just as gorgeous as the last. And it's another very popular waterfall. Another wet waterfall. <laughs> Come prepared, you're gonna get wet at all the waterfalls. <laughs> Alright, so there is a stairway that goes all the way up to the top. Should we do the stairs? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we got lucky with a sunny day, and the sun mixed with the mist of the waterfall was creating some seriously beautiful rainbows while we were there.
we're on our way to Vic now. Sorry, my hair is all crazy from all the waterfalls and everything going on. <laughs> and we saw a sign that said glaciers, kayaking tours, all these things. And we could see the glacier in the distance. So we're like, you know what? Let's go check it out. Let's go see the glacier. Um, we're not gonna do any tours or anything, um, but here it is, Iceland Glacier. It wasn't on our radar, um, but hey, that's the cool thing about road tripping. You can stop and go when you see something as you please. <laughs> Just before arriving to Vic, you can drive to the Deholahe Lighthouse to get some beautiful area views of black sand beaches and the Deholahe Arch. One more stop before arriving to Vic you gotta see are the sea stacks, cave, and rock formations located by the Reynas Faya Beach. This is officially the coolest black sand beach we've ever seen. <laughs> After many amazing stops, we finally made it to Vic, and our first stop was the Vic Church. It sits up on top of a hill and gives you some beautiful views of Vic and the coastline. All right, we are down at Black Sand Beach here in Vic, and we we're just kind of wanting something to snack on, a little little snack here. It's like, I don't know, one or, one or two or one, so. One. Yeah, and we've been doing a lot of running around so far. So we went to the market in Vic here, we just got this little sandwich, some grapes, they look really good, and then... They grow them right here, right? Right, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> and then some cookies, and two bananas. Ecuador bananas. And this, I don't know, Appleson. orange... Appleson. Appleson orange Appleson. soda. <laughs> So that's our lunch here and we're gonna eat right here um, at the beach. We can't actually see the beach. There's like a big mound of black sand in front of us with some grass. So um, we're just gonna enjoy our little lunch down here at the beach and then we're gonna go check out Black Sand Beach here in Vic. We are wrapped up here in Vic and now we're headed further down the coast, I guess. So as we left, um, we stopped at the gas station, filled up our tank for the first time and um, we had about a quarter tank of gas left in our car and it costed $77 to fill it up it's on this thing. little tiny Kia Sportage. So yeah, that was a little, a little more spendy <laughs> than the USA. So no complaining about gas in the USA because whoo, she's spendy in Iceland. <laughs> Today is a very busy day, but we're not done yet. Along our drive from Vic, we did some quick pull-offs to see waterfalls, river views, and stopped for a little hike to a gorge that had another waterfall viewing area. If you haven't noticed the theme, Iceland has a ton of waterfalls everywhere. All right, our day two is done, but we still gotta go eat. <laughs> so we are at a restaurant, which I don't know Iceland, so I'm not gonna say it here, but I'll Sister put it on the screen. Yeah. I don't know. He thinks he knows. <laughs> we try. Pizza tonight for the view. We went and got ice cream at the gas station because that's where you get all your stuff here. She didn't like hers, <laughs> so I'm eating both of hers and she's eating the third thing we bought. <laughs> no. We made her order a bad pizza. <laughs> <laughs> right, we just got to our hotel. Check this out. And the view. Look at this, you guys. We have a balcony, which I need to unlock. Wow. Very nice. There's our hotel. And the best part about this room is, guess what they have that our hotel last night did not have? Blackout shades! <laughs> We're gonna sleep good tonight! <laughs> so we just went to the bar um, to get some drinks so we can sit and enjoy that view out there. <laughs> um, I bought a bottle of the champagne because they didn't have any wine I like, and I'm gonna make myself mimosas. So I got, <laughs> I asked him for a glass of orange juice, a bottle of champagne, Vince got a beer, I got a glass to mix my mimosas. All right, cheers to day two. <laughs> He's already cheersing himself. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning. It is day three of our Iceland road trip. Um, little, little cloudy, moody, misty morning here. <laughs> our two days of nice weather has ran out. Hopefully, it clears up. Um, but we're starting our morning. We're on a little hike. We're um, at our national park. I'll put it on the screen because I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> and we're on our way to a waterfall. What a shock, another waterfall. And then after that, we are heading on a glacier uh, lagoon boat cruise. 
which will be so cool to get out on the water and see some more glaciers. There's an enormous glacier at this National Park right, right now. We saw it as we were coming in. And um, hopefully we get some decent views of it, but it's pretty, pretty cloudy and moody today. So, not sure. But anyways, let's get started with day three. Just to give you a reference on how big this glacier is that we are by right now. This is the map of Iceland. We are right over here. We're at this area. And this right here is a glacier. <laughs> Look how big that is. I think it might be one of the biggest in the world. In yesterday's footage where we went to a glacier, we were down here. So here's Vic and there's this little guy. That's the one we went and saw yesterday. So lots of glaciers in Iceland. The hike to Savarabas waterfall has a nice steady incline the entire way. It's roughly about two miles round trip and definitely worth the hike. We're the only ones here. There's no one else here yet. Woo! After our hike, we made our way to Glacier Lagoon. There are a few pull-offs you can stop at to see the floating icebergs in the lagoon before you get to the main visitor center where all the boat tours start. These are our first icebergs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've never seen icebergs, have we? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Once we got to the main visitor area, we were even more in awe. The icebergs were closer to shore and even bigger than what we saw before. This is where we started our glacier boat cruise. I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested. We did pre-purchase our tickets well in advance, so we knew we were guaranteed a boat ride. The tour brought us deep into the lagoon and up close to the icebergs. The entire boat ride was about 30 minutes, and this experience was definitely one of the best highlights of our trip yet. <laughs> we're all done with our <sighs> boat cruise. Just sitting here looking at the glacier still. Uh, that was really cool, really cool experience. Yeah, um, we got like out there, so just heads up. You go on the boat cruise, try and sit on the right side of the boat. We sat on the left side, which is both are fine. Um, but the right side, you get closer, like the side of the bigger glaciers. Um, so just a little tip on that. But regardless, whatever side you sit on, they're, it's both fine. And dress very warm. It's cold out there. Brr. Obviously, you're in a glacier lagoon with icebergs and a glacier surrounding you, it's gonna be freezing, so. Directly across from the lagoon along the ocean is a black sand beach called Diamond Beach. You gotta stop here. It has chunks of the icebergs laying on the beach and they literally look like diamonds along a black sand beach. It's beautiful. So we just left the glacier lagoon area. We were driving, saw parts of the glacier from the road and we saw people walking. We're like, hmm, where are they going? And we just hiked to another lagoon and glacier so we're back at the national park that we were at this morning where we hiked to the waterfall um, because we saw a hike here where you can hike to the glacier here so on our way back um, and gonna do another glacier hike the hike from the national park visitor center is roughly two miles on a very easy flat trail once you get to the viewpoint you can hike closer to the glacier we hiked probably another one and a half miles to get closer views of the glacier and the blackness you see on the glacier is actually volcanic ash layers that become embedded into the glacier after previous volcanic eruptions and i verified this is the largest glacier in the entire world and we got to spend our whole day right by it it's pretty awesome all right we are back in Vic and we are hungry I think we hiked about six miles today what? and we are feeling it like our legs are hurting and our feet are hurting we did a lot of a lot of hiking today with glaciers and icebergs and waterfalls and all the things so we are at the soup company here in Vic and that's what we're having for dinner which is perfect because it's like cold and windy and gloomy right now in Vic so soup is where it's at all right we got our soup and bread bowls I got cheddar broccoli and Vince got a lava soup with the yogurt comes. With the yogurt, yeah. This looks so good. We got to our hotel. Beautiful room here again. Nice bathroom. Well, we're gonna crash. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow for day four already. Good morning. It is day four here on our Iceland road trip. So we just drove about two hours from Vic and we are headed to the Blue Lagoon, which is you know, one of the most popular spots here in Iceland. And it's one experience we've been really looking forward to. 
But right behind me, you might see some cliffs. So this is just kind of a stop along the way. You do have to go down like a long gravel road to get to these cliffs, but they looked really cool and we're like, we have to go see them. And because we're going to the Blue Lagoon, didn't have to do hair and makeup today because you have to shower off before you go in. So I'm like, woke up like this. This is, this is how we roll today. The Blue Lagoon is one of the 25 wonders of the world. And since it's a popular spot in Iceland, tickets can sell out pretty quickly. So we purchased our tickets weeks in advance to secure our spots. We just got the standard comfort package, which includes a mud mask, towel, and one drink of choice. I was actually worried that this was going to feel very touristy and busy, but it wasn't at all. The lagoon is actually quite large, and there's plenty of space to spread out and enjoy the lagoon. Blue Lagoon is happening. This is nice. <laughs> this is really nice. Wow. And it's so warm. It doesn't smell like sulfur either. Nope, there's no sulfur smell at all. So there's two bars here. So we're gonna go get a drink. Because you get one free drink included in the comfort package, which is what we booked. And yeah, this is dreamy. And just a heads up, at check-in they warn you to leave conditioner in your hair after you shower and enter the lagoon because it's very drying on your hair. And they are not wrong. My hair felt like hard straw after I got out. All right, here's my mask. Do it. Is it white? <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm. It's very creamy. How do we look? Excellent. We just got done at the Blue Lagoon and we are in downtown Reykjavik in our hotel. Great hotel here. Uh, we've been scoring on the hotels. Every hotel we've been at so far has been awesome. The Blue Lagoon was awesome. We had a great, great relaxing time there. Uh, my hair feels like straw. I washed it three times, lots of conditioner, and I just, I feel weird but that's part of it the whole experience i'm sure so now we're spending the rest of our day here in Reykjavik, just walking around exploring the city when visiting larger cities we always book hotels that are in city center when we travel it just makes it easier to walk around our first stop was the Reykjavik church it's one of the most unique churches we've ever seen and we purchased tickets that were nine dollars a person so we could climb to the top of the church tower to get aerial views of the city <laughs> From there we made our way to Rainbow Street and decided to grab dinner. Iceland is known for fish, so we had to try it. And honestly, it was some of the best white fish I've ever had in my life. It was delicious. One more stop while we were exploring the town was the Sun Voyager that is located along the coastline. It is day five. We just spent about an hour and a half driving. First stop today is these cliffs. Really cool little area here on our drive to the waterfall mountainish area where we're headed today and a little little bit of gloomy weather today but it's okay we're rolling with it so despite the weather we're making the most of it <laughs> from Reykjavik we drove to the Snifuses Peninsula just north of Reykjavik and per usual we did a lot of random stops along the way because there's just so many waterfalls everywhere we had to stop and take it all in we went to the market here in this town that's right before our next destination we just picked up these like sandwiches, some bugles, some applesin, cinnamon, roll. <laughs> cinnamon rolls, <laughs> extremely random, but it sounded and looked good. So we found this picnic table down here by the harbor area and this is our lunch spot. After lunch, we made it to the highlight of our day. This is the most photographed spot in all of Iceland and it may look a little familiar to you if you've ever watched the Game of Thrones. Next stop on the peninsula, we drove the coastline to the national park. We hiked to the top of a crater and checked out some more cliff views before we made our way to the little town of Arnar Steepy. There's some walking trails that go along the harbor where you can get in more cliff views and an arch that they call Stone Bridge. And this is the area where we got to see a whale swimming just off the coast. All right, it is time for some food. So I got a seafood soup, it looks really good. And then Vince got fish and chips. Cute little spot here. One last stop before getting to our hotel for the night was this little black church. There's so many cute churches in Iceland, but not many are black. All right, and that is a wrap for today. We're at our hotel. Another cute little spot here. Check out this view. Got some ocean over there, seabirds, and then the mountains over there. It is our last full day here. 
we are in Reykjavik at the Harbor Convention Center. We just went and got our COVID test done. Um, so we have to do that to get home. And then we got some coffees here. Um, rainy day here. So we're gonna um, probably go to a spa today because it's just not nice out. And yeah, that's our plan for the day is a spa. So I didn't get ready <laughs> for the day because why would you do that if you're going to a spa? So. Anyways, we're just waiting. Ben's already got his results back. He's negative. I don't know. I tested first so I haven't got mine back. So that's always nerve wracking. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So we went and checked on our COVID test because I wasn't getting my results. It I was got mine like, right away. Like yeah, he got minutes. his. I went up there and she's like, oh, you're probably in the positive pool. I'm like, well, what, what does, does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> she's like, it just needs extra testing or they just need to like check it a little more. I'm like, Great. You'd be stuck here five days. Yeah. <laughs> then I'd be stuck here five days. <laughs> so I had to wait another hour and I finally got the results. I'm negative. <laughs> <So brave. laughs> that was probably like, that was quite nerve wracking that entire process because I was in the positive pool. <laughs> now that we're relieved of all that, we're going to go get some brunch before we head to the spa. Candy, mimosas, and a burger. And yeah. Alright, this is where we're hanging on our last day. Sky Lagoon. Look at this place. Sky Lagoon is another popular hot spring really close to Reykjavik. They have a few different packages and we went with the Pure Pass that includes a full seven step ritual experience. The lagoon has a beautiful infinity pool that is oceanfront. It's a completely different experience from the Blue Lagoon and honestly I can't decide which one I like better because they are all so different and both so amazing. Vince said he actually likes Sky Lagoon more than the Blue Lagoon, but again, I love them both, but they're so different. From the lagoon, we started our virtual experience. The first step is to take a dip in a glacier cold plunge pool. Oh, that's the cold. That is cold. Oh. You're not. We're good. We're good. That was two seconds. Next, we entered a beautiful sauna that faces the ocean. From there, we entered into a cold fog mist to cool us back down from the sauna. Then we were given some Sky Lagoon moisturizing scrub that we put all over our body and entered a steam room. This part made our skin so soft and silky. Once we were done in the steam room, we took a warm shower to take off all the scrub. We loved the ritual experience. It was so relaxing and I highly recommend it. And that is a wrap on our six day road trip around Iceland. We had such a great experience visiting our 27th country. I hope you find this vlog helpful as you plan your Iceland trip. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and thanks so much for watching.